Hey everybody, welcome to LettermanRow.com. I am Jeremy Birmingham. This is a midweek surprise edition of Bermanology, a commitment edition of Bermanology as the Ohio State 2022 recruiting class grows by one more. Uh, for the second time in three days, we're heading to Florida. We're talking to a defensive back, and this one is cornerback Ryan Turner from Hollywood, Florida, Shamanad Madonna High School. Ryan, congratulations on your decision. Why Ohio State? Thank you. I just really picked Ohio State because I don't know if you guys knew this or like the fans or anything, but the last month and a half, it's really just been Clemson and Ohio State. So it was hard picking between each of the schools because you know a lot of people told them you can't you can't go wrong with any school. So I just I just looked at the numbers. I know what I could do for Ohio State. I know what they could do for me. So I just felt like today was the right time, man made my decision <laughs> so ryan you made a decision a month and a half ago to make a handful of visits on your own dime on your family's dime to to get to columbus to go to clemson to go to boston college what was the separator i guess when you start to look at those three trips that you took in a week and a half stretch i mean that's a lot of information for you to try to absorb all at one time about a, a huge decision in your life what ultimately made the the difference for ohio state Really, just those trips really, really didn't do anything for me. I thought planning it before, like planning it in my head, I, it was going to do something for me. But when I went to Ohio State, I liked Ohio State. I wanted to commit. But then when I went to Clemson, I liked Clemson. I wanted to commit. So I didn't really, I didn't really know. So I, I feel like those trips didn't really do anything for me. I just put it in God's hands, and He just, I feel like he, He's guided me the right way, and. Just made my decision today. Walk us through the conversation when when you finally when you reach that verdict in your mind and you pick up the phone and you you beep boop beep boop beep and you start to call Ryan Day. You start to call Kerry Combs. What is the response? Do they are they they're all on vacation right now? I know that. So were they expecting you to make that call today? They weren't. Coach Combs. He was actually surprised. He said, "Why why is he calling me on a Tuesday night?" <laughs> and Coach Barnes, you know, Coach Barnes, well, I don't know, I don't know if the, the fans know this or the supporters know this, but Coach Barnes, he's a really like, he doesn't really show a lot of emotion. And today he was just happy. Like, I, you know, you, I can tell he was happy because I've never seen him like this. So <laughs> he was just happy. And, and Coach Day, he said he's going to party tonight. Hopefully I'll party. And yeah, that's, that was really just that. Yeah. It's such a unique opportunity uh, as a as a defensive back to play at Ohio State. I mean, how much of that, you know, the the reputation of Kerry Combs, the developing relationship, and the developing reputation of Matt Barnes. Also, I think a lot of people sometimes forget about Matt Barnes in that equation, and they probably shouldn't. What is it about those two guys that made you feel like that was the right decision? Because I know that Clemson obviously is a great program. You were very close with Jeff Halfley and the Boston College staff. What is it about what Kerry Combs and Matt Barnes have, have given you or shown you in the last couple months that made you feel like they were the right guys for you? Man, I, I just feel like Coach Combs and Coach Barnes' track record is just crazy, and I feel like I can go in there and play as a freshman, which is what I'm trying to do, and I'm trying to win the Natty, which is we're right there every year. I feel like I can be the one person to get us getting that ring. <laughs> so I just feel like yeah, Coach Barnes and Coach Combs, just their track record and just – them developing guys and them just putting guys into the league, which is my main goal, and taking care of my family, which is my main goal. So it's like, yeah, it was just like a no-brainer. Ohio State has done traditionally fairly well recruiting the state of Florida. Um, in this class now, you are the fourth defensive back committed and the third from the state of Florida with Jaheim Singletary and Kai Stokes, who committed on Sunday. You have a very talented defensive end teammate in Kenyatta Jackson at, at Shamanah Madonna that is making an official visit to Ohio State uh, in June. How comfortable are you, Ryan, now? I mean, again, this is very brand new. I mean, th this conversation between you and the coaches just happened, what, a half hour ago, hour ago. But how, how comfortable do you uh -oh. think you're going to be being that guy who's helping recruit other players? Very comfortable. I'm, I'm going to get on Kenyatta as soon as tomorrow, right when I post it. I'm texting him. I'm getting on him. I'm getting on uh, Toriano Pride, the, uh, the other DB from St. Louis. I'm getting on him. He needs to join. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to be the best recruiter I can be. What is it that Ohio State is getting in you? For fans who have never watched you play, who haven't checked out your highlights, what is Ohio State fans getting uh, with Ryan Turner? 
really just a very a very physical and and uh, a very physical DB that can play man to man coverage very well. Uh, I have a lot. I have good technique. <laughs> Basically, I have good technique, and I'm and I'm I'm gonna come down and hit just really physical and and well uh, press man corner. Have you? Started. I mean, uh, the summer or, or summer's coming up, but spring is now uh, wrapping up. You didn't do a lot of the camp circuit stuff. You didn't do a lot of the seven on seven stuff because you were focused on on track and other things. Do you feel like you're still flying under the radar a little bit, even though now you're committed to one of the two or three best programs in the country? Do you feel like people still need to wake up a little bit to what type of potential you have? Does it bother you? No, it, it, at the start it did because I felt like I wasn't getting the recognition I should have. But I'm going to school for free, which is my main goal. I'm making my parents happy, so I don't really care about. I don't. I don't really care about the recognition and all that. It's just it's crazy how low I am, but it, it is what it is. I don't, I don't really care. No more. Uh, what was your parents' reaction when you made this decision? Because you you have official visits scheduled for June. I mean, what what was their thought process? Was there any sort of push back or say, hey, give it another month or so, wait it out. I mean, what what was their reaction? They just they were they were surprised too because I I uh, I told my parents I told my parents around like twelve or one, I'm ready, I'm ready to commit today. And they said where? And I said Ohio State. And they just they were like, Okay, do it do what you need to do. We we support you hundred percent. Let's do it. You know, I, I think it's interesting, Ryan, um, back in the end of the 2019 football season when Ohio State played Clemson out in the Fiesta Bowl in the college football playoff, I did an interview with a handful of guys that were recruited by both schools, um, including a number of defensive backs. And, and what happened, what, what I found was that a lot of people who decided one way or the other chose because they liked the city life of Columbus, or they liked the you know more quiet life in Clemson. As a kid from down in South Florida near Miami, was that a part of this for you about what made you feel maybe more comfortable at Ohio State, being that it was a city life that something you're more used to? Not really, <laughs> not really, because I feel like I feel like either school, if I'm doing great on the field, it's going to transfer to me being happy off the field. Plus, you're going to be stuck city, in one building the all the time. I mean, you're going to be working at the at, at the Woody Hayes Athletic Center most of the time. But, I, you know, I think for fans out there, there's this there's this recurring theme in recruiting right now that Ohio State and Clemson are recruiting a lot of the same players, including, as we just talked about, Kenyatta Jackson, Toriano Pride. Like, these are a lot of guys that are considering the same schools. You know, when, when you start to make that decision, ultimately you have to do what's best for you, and, and clearly you've done that. How do you recruit other players that are making that decision? What do you tell them? They know what great is. And if you're trying to be great, come come to like can y'all to know. Can can y'all to know? I talk to can y'all to a lot. Cause I I didn't really like bring up me coming to Ohio State before today to him. Well he doesn't really he doesn't know even right now, but he knows Ohio State is is the place to be. Um, what let's, you know, how do you celebrate this now? I mean, again, I, we're, this is in real time for most people out there. A lot of these things, they don't really get to understand that you just made this call an hour ago. How do you celebrate? You wait till, till Friday. Do you, you and the family go out and do something for dinner? I mean, you got to be at school in the morning. Really? I don't, I don't know. I'm focused on spring practice. We, we in spring ball right now. I'm still playing football. I'm Talk to my parents, see if they see when they want to celebrate. But I'm I'm playing football right now. It, it ain't really no time to celebrate. <laughs> How much lighter do you feel knowing that this decision is behind you? You can focus on spring football. You can focus on the summer. You can focus on one official visit and and, and you know getting ready for college. Very light because I feel like coaches calling me twenty four seven was it wasn't getting overwhelming because at the start it was, but towards towards like the past like three months it really wasn't because I was like controlling I was managing my time very well so like if I couldn't talk to them I would, I would let them know I can't talk to you today or let me call you back in 20 minutes so it wasn't really like overwhelming the past uh, couple months but at the start it was very overwhelming but I'm, I'm glad it's over again I want to make sure that people who are watching or listening understand the context here like I don't we haven't had this discussion have you talked to the other staffs have you talked to Jeff Halfley have you talked to the Clemson staff uh, and if you have, how difficult were those dis- discussions? I haven't. No? I haven't, I haven't talked to them yet. Which one are you most or least looking forward to, I guess? 
Coach Reed from Clemson. Uh, I mean, he coached from Clemson. I can't imagine, and I think it's it's an interesting subplot to all of these things that kids in your position have to deal with because these are lifelong relationships that you're building, but you, a lot of them are based on having to disappoint someone, and that uh, certainly can't be easy. So, um, mm-hmm. for you, what what is the goal now heading into the, your your senior season? What do you plan to do for enrollment? Are you looking at early enrollment, and and ultimately, I guess, just where does where does Ryan Turner go from here? You hang up the phone, you get a new phone number, you tell coaches, leave me alone. Like, what do you do? Uh, well, yeah, my, my recruitment is shut down for sure. But uh, what, was, what was the other question? Yeah, you know, I, I guess what what do you do? I mean, are you looking towards an early enrollment? Are you working towards that? Is that something that you're allowed to do out of Shaman Amadana? A lot of schools have different rules. I'm trying to, but I don't. I go to I go to Shaman I go to a private school, so that I, I don't think they're letting me. Well, long time away before you have to worry about that. December is what? What month are we in now? We're in May. December is mm-hmm. seven months away till signing day. Hopefully, uh, you, you know you you get the rest and, and respite that you're looking for here. Now that uh, a decision is made, congratulations yes, once sir. again. I'm going to let you get out of Thank here and get to celebrating with your family. That is Ryan Turner, Ohio State's latest 2022 commitment. I'm Jeremy Birmingham. This has been Bermanology on Letterman Row. Thank you for watching.